What's up everybody, Remington from Impulse Creative. And today we're gonna to talk about some advanced settings in Drift that can help you customize your customer's experience. So when you jump into the Drift app and you've got everything installed, what you're gonna to wanna to do is jump into the settings tab. When you jump into the settings tab, you'll see an option for a variety of things, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and click chat widget. Once you click the advanced settings, you're gonna see a drawer open up with a variety of items. And there's some really good stuff in here. So the first, the first item is display the icon, the little chat icon in the bottom right. You may not want that icon to show up in general unless there is a chatbot flow happening. And this is where you can toggle that on or off. You can, of course, also make it so people can upload attachments like images or PDFs. And of course, you can make it so that they can't. Um, and that's for incoming. But then they also have that same thing for outgoing. So do you want your team to be able to provide images or screenshots and that kind of thing? And then, of course, you've got playing sound for if someone gets a chat but is in another tab, for instance. And of course, flashing the tab to get people's attention. So you've got a lot of power in how your chatbot and how your Drift um, app is going to interact on your website. There's also a couple extra settings down here, which is asking your site visitors for their email address if they're engaging in a live chat. And of course, it has some default copy, but you can, you can bring your culture out a little bit and explain why you want their email address. Um, so you can update that information there if you want. As you scroll down, the last setting is email follow-up. So the cool thing about Drift is if you're having a live chat engagement and you know who someone is via email, whether, you're, whether you've previously had a conversation with them, whether they're integrated into HubSpot or another tool that ties in the, um, the cookie and the contact information, what can happen is you can go in and you can um, have this live chat and if they weren't engaging on that tab and they don't respond, within 15 minutes, it'll automatically email them that response and bring them back to the site to finish the conversation. So there's a lot of really good stuff in here. Some of the more important ones that people ask is how to turn off the little chat bubble icon when you don't have a playbook set up for a particular page. This display the icon is the answer for you. But if you have any other questions about conversational marketing or drift, please feel free to reach out to me in the comments or even on Twitter at Remington Beg. If you'd like to see other tutorials we've done, you can go ahead and you can do that right here. And if you'd like to subscribe to our daily tutorials, you can go ahead and do that right here. Up until next time, I'm Remington from Impulse Creative. Have a great day.